for those of us who are in church and then like we're hearing that, you know, it's best to find somebody in church or find somebody, you know. I say best to find somebody in Christ. In Christ. Okay. Because right. it's not the same. But the problem that, I, that I've had and people that I know is that how can single women find someone or meet someone, I ain't going to say find, meet someone when 90% of the church is uh, women. And then the 10% that are men are already married. Their wives are already there. Usually. So what are we supposed to do? Well, we come do. here. Come here. Come here. Hey, no, no, no. Come here. For real. For real. Single man. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm, I'm not playing. I'm not doing that. I'm not, do, I'm not going to do you like that. I'm not going to do you like that. I want to make a point. If you're a single man, I want you to stand up. If you can physically stand up. If you're unmarried, I want you to stand up. All right. Now, if you're a single man, if you're a single man and you're in any one of our overflow rooms, please come over here real quickly. I just want to make a point. I want you to come in here. Uh-huh. Now. <laughs> oh, that is so beautiful. What's your name? What's your name? Huh? Okay, listen, 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 listen. See, when Danielle made the statement, the reason why I wanted to change the narrative is because it's extreme. Like she says, it ain't no men here, no men in the church, and 90% of them, 90% of us are women, and the other 10% of men who are in here are already married. I'm saying all these men right here are single men, right? So you say, what I'm saying is, you see all of them? All you need is one. You ain't got to worry about the stats. All you need, hey! Go get them, go get them, go get them. Hey! <laughs> thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all.